Oh, hey there. What's poppin', guys? Thanks for joining me here at Skull and Mortar. I'm John Barker. I am the award-winning pitmaster at Beach Bum Barbecue and the executive chef here at Skull and Mortar. And today, we're gonna make a jalapeno popper stuffed pork loin. But that's not it. We're gonna take it all the way. We're gonna wrap it in bacon. We're gonna throw it on the smoker and it's not even that hard. Any skill level can do it. I'm gonna show you how. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna make our filling. For that, you're gonna need about three jalapenos. And it's basically just like making jalapeno poppers. We're gonna split them down the middle. And for the third one, we're just gonna dice that one up. Now I like all the seeds in mine, so I'm just gonna leave them in for my filler. Now it's extremely important that you have room to stuff your cream cheese mixture into the jalapeno. So while I usually don't like to, we are gonna seed these. Guys, if you don't want your jalapeno mixture really spicy, if you're a real Terry about the situation, you might want to, want to cut the seeds out, throw them off to the side, it doesn't matter, cook it to your palate. Grab yourself a mixing bowl. Uh, I'm actually gonna use the actual bowl from my mixer because I did not clean my other mixing bowl prior to this video because I always come prepared. So we're gonna throw these jalapeno bits down inside here. I might go ahead and collect some of these extra seeds. All right, so after you have your jalapenos in here, you're just gonna take a brick of cream cheese. Um, I'm using Philadelphia, but you can use a cheaper one if you want. It doesn't really matter. I also have this leftover cheese ball, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it to use. I'm gonna drop it in here. If you don't have a cheese ball, uh, it's not a big deal. Use cheddar cheese. That's what I would have used, uh, some sharp cheddar. But I, had, I happened to have this, and I figured I might as well use it. So all of these are gonna go down inside the bowl, and we're just going to take our hands and just mix that all together. It pays to use rubber gloves. I got our mixture together. We're just gonna throw it on the counter back here. We're gonna let it get warm and kind of soften up more because we want it really pliable. So we're gonna toss, oh, what's this? Some barbecue sauce? That's right, it's finally available. The Skull and Mortar Beach Bum Barbecue OG Blend Sauce. You can order it in the description below. Pre-orders are already shipping. So get yours today uh, to get it in time for your holiday. All right guys, now you're gonna wanna buy a decent sized pork loin when you do this, which is what I thought I was doing when I made the mistake of buying this one from Kroger instead of my regular butcher. So instead of one good pork loin, I got two really half-assed ones, but that's all right. We're gonna make it work. Sometimes when you're cooking, you have to think on the fly. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the bigger of the two here and we're gonna go ahead and just butterfly this. So what you want to do is you want to kind of find that thick area there and we're just going to slowly carefully open it up. Take your time. Don't be in a hurry. Keep all your fingers. Safety first. Now you want to open it up almost to cutting through it but you don't actually want to cut through it. All right, so that's about what we're gonna do here. So what we've done here is we've created a nice little pocket here, and this is gonna allow us to stuff this, and then we're gonna use this one here, we're gonna butterfly it and use it as a cap over the top of it to kind of seal it in. So we've got a good pocket here, um, which is what, exactly how you want it to be. Now normally if you got a bigger tenderloin, you'll just kind of sandwich that in there, but we gotta make do with what we got. All right, so our next step is we wanna stuff our jalapeno poppers. And don't be bashful, man. Get that mixture in there. Set that bad boy off to the side. I'm gonna have to start doing like a like a, a Will Smith and Martin Lawrence bad boy counter because I say bad boy way too much. Again, they don't need to be pretty, guys. They're gonna be in the middle of the pork loin, so you're never gonna see them whole, if you will. Now that we've got our jalapeno poppers adequately stuffed, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take some of our extra filling here and we are going to just kind of layer it inside of our pork loin. That's it, you don't even have to worry about it being too even. You kind of want to make sure that you get roughly the same amount throughout, but if you get a big clump somewhere, it doesn't, it's not like it really changes the experience at all. But don't be wasteful, use every last bit of it. Kind of fill in that low point the best thing is, 
This bad boy is keto friendly too, so if you're on a diet, you can eat ridiculously and still feel good about yourself. All right, pals, we almost got this where we want it. Now we're going to take our stuffed jalapenos and we're just gonna bury them down inside of that cheese. Now you're thinking, what are we gonna do with this one? Because we clearly don't have room for it. Well, we're gonna make room for it because uh, obesity is not a game, all right? And I'm a big guy. I'm getting that friggin' cheese stuffed jalapeno right in that son of a bee. Now, you got your two sections all fleshed out, so you're gonna take your top portion, flip it right over the top, and now, instead of having two little crappy pork loins, we have one beautiful, curvaceous, luscious pork loin. Look at that guy, come on. That thing is beautiful. And I know you're looking at it and you're thinking, man, what more can we do? Well, we can wrap it in bacon, and that's what we're gonna do. All right, so I definitely tried to braid this pork loin and it uh, didn't work out for me. Apparently, I'm not that good at braiding. So we're just gonna go ahead and wrap it in a shit ton of bacon, dude. Like, a metric shit ton. Usually, I try to keep this stuff family friendly, but uh, I feel like shit ton is an accurate way to describe bacon. So we're gonna use some toothpicks here. We're gonna kind of mohawk this bad boy across to make sure that our bacon stays up. We're gonna pull those out at the end of the cook. Once the fat all melts together, it's not gonna be a big deal. But especially the way that we've had to butterfly this, uh, the two separate ones, we really wanna make sure that we get a good tight wrap. All right guys, there's an insane amount of toothpicks in this thing, but it is finally ready to go. We are gonna throw this on the smoker at about 250 degrees, and I expect it to take somewhere around two hours. We wanna make sure that the meat is up to at least 145 degrees. You never want your pork less than medium. So let's get it on the smoker, and we'll be back right here when it's done. All right guys, here it is, our bacon wrapped jalapeno popper pork loin. The bacon's good and crispy on the top. We're gonna go ahead and use a Carolina red vinegar sauce to glaze this. Now we don't wanna put it back in the smoker like we normally would because this bacon is gonna get too crispy and it's gonna be burnt. So we're gonna use a different method and I know that you guys are gonna be as stoked as I am. We're gonna set this shit on fire. Make sure you keep that torch moving so you don't burn the sauce. We just want to get it good and set. Alternately, if you don't have a blowtorch, go ahead and slather your barbecue sauce on it and toss it back in the smoker. Give it about 15 minutes. It's going to be set perfect. But uh, why have a blowtorch and not use it? You know what I'm saying? Now this bad boy is going to be messy. It's going to be filled with molten hot cheese. So don't be stupid. Protect yourself, get some hand protection, don't be too crazy. But I think now it is time to cut this thing open. Because I expect it to be freaking cheesy as shit. Man. Jam that cheese back in there. Jeez, man, this is crazy. Look at that. God, that's so delicious looking. All right, let's get a cut right here. I gotta try this thing, man. Some bacon, some cream cheese. Let's see if I can get a little piece of this jalapeno in here. I'm just gonna let that go. Well, if you like cheese, you like bacon, you like jalapenos, this right here is gonna take your meal to the next level. Man, that thing is crazy. Guys, if you're a pit master and you're looking for something new, something different, 
you're bored with the same old, same old, this right here is an awesome take on just some staples that you probably already have in your kitchen. Gotta try it. Look at it. it says enough. It speaks for itself. Guys, if you saw something in this video you like, don't forget to smash that like button. Hit the dislike. I don't really care. Just hit something. Leave a message down below. You can even talk crap. It's fine. I don't mind. YouTube doesn't mind either. Pump this video up. Don't forget you can buy my sauce in the description below. And I will be back next week with a brand new video.